You know when you're watching Nightline and you know there's going to be an end to the story you're watching? Well, this story is ongoing, but we're slowly getting the answers. This is the story of Leah Marie Johnson, former YouTuber, musician, and actress. What is it? Live stream? No. What is it? Tell me the truth. Hey guys, it's Spilly and welcome back to Spill Sesh. Today's video is going to be on the more serious side. If you guys probably couldn't tell by the title, we're talking about Leah Marie Johnson again because she has opened up a little bit about some of the things that happened to her and how she's currently doing. And I feel like these are important things for us to talk about because some new information has come out about the guy that was featured in the live stream with her, allegedly her record producer that I want to share with you guys, which absolutely just like is so scary and creepy and oh oh my gosh so we're getting into all this and more now if you guys don't know who leah marie johnson is if you didn't watch my last video it's okay i'll give you guys a little summary here leah marie johnson has been on youtube for a very long time since she was a child if you guys know who the fine brothers are they do the react series where they have kids react adults react college kids react teens react youtubers react to different viral videos Leah was on it since she was a kid and basically grew up reacting on the React series. That's pretty much where a lot of people found her and where she rose to fame. She had a series, I believe, on Nickelodeon called Harry the Tomboy, and she soon began acting in other things like movies, including YouTube's The Thinning, a movie with Cameron Dallas. She was in a YouTube series called Tagged. Eventually, Leah went on to pursue her music career, which is really where her heart was. She released a song called DNA and that kind of changed a lot of people's perspective of Leah who kind of seemed like this cookie cutter, just really cute girl. And all of a sudden she was thinking about things that were a little bit more adult or finding out that she had anxiety and depression. And this is really where she started opening up about those issues that she was having. Now, you guys, this is kind of where things take a turn. Leah signed with Capitol Records, right? She puts out this song, a music video, she has a couple more songs come out, and then all of a sudden, it's as if we didn't really hear about Leah after that. She was in Tagged, but that was really it. She kind of just fell out of the YouTube scene. All of a sudden, Leah started going live on Instagram, and she really didn't seem fully there. She wasn't totally coherent. She seemed like she was on something or drinking something. It just, something was off. It wasn't right, and it was truly scaring people because it seemed like she wasn't taking care of herself and that the people around her weren't really Really helping her because she kept going live and everybody was so concerned. I mean, these lives were absolutely the most concerning thing I've ever seen. It was just so scary to see someone be so normal one day on the internet and then, you know, a couple years go by and they're a totally different person. So you guys, one of the most recent lives that really caught people's attention was when Leah was in a recording studio-like room and she was with this older man who kept asking her if she was on Instagram Live, saying that it was not good if she was on Instagram Live and that she needs to turn it off. It could ruin his career. He seemed really concerned. He took her phone and tried to turn the live off, but he just paused it because he didn't know how to work Instagram. So everybody was on high alert after this. Everyone was really scared because this guy that she was with apparently sounds and looks like her record producer, whose name is Steve Weatherby. Now, this guy, you guys, he looks like the guy in the video. I'll show you guys a side-by-side. -side. It's honestly the spitting image, in my opinion. The way that this guy was acting, he was like literally on high alert, insinuating that he was doing something wrong and she couldn't be recording them which is just weird. It's just not right, you know? It seems like something is off in this situation. So I was watching a video earlier today that Jay Aubrey did on Liam Marie Johnson, and he found an old interview of Steve getting interviewed by two child clients 
and they basically did a simple q a but his answers are literally so uncomfortable you guys and i started taking pictures of kids riding ponies for their birthdays what do you like most about photography um i think my favorite thing is meeting the kids and their parents and just getting to know them and then we always take an ice cream break and i like doing the ice cream if you could describe yourself in colors what type of color would you be this is going to sound really weird but um i think pink and black <laughs> and pink, because pink is just this friendly color, you know, nobody's afraid of pink. But black is, it's kind of this mysterious color, so you kind of, you kind of don't know what's going to happen. This guy is a record producer as well as a photographer, and a lot of his clients are young girls, okay? When he met Leah, she was about 15 or 16. They started working together in 2012, and Leah is currently 23. So if you guys do the math, it's about 15 or 16, because I don't know what month they signed, but that's pretty young. And the girls in this video look even younger. His answers are just creepy. Like you're taking pictures of children on ponies at birthday parties. You're saying your favorite colors are pink and black because pink means like soft and kind and inviting and black is like mysterious. Like, what are you hiding? Like. I don't know, this is, it was super alarming to me. These answers just didn't sit right with me. You guys, literally for legal reasons, I gotta say, this isn't a hundred percent like true facts that this man in this video getting interviewed by these two girls is the man with Leah. It hasn't been proven, but you guys, I'm just saying, they look alike. You guys put two and two together. Let me know in the comments if you guys think this is him. I don't know how many old people Leah Marie Johnson knows, but, this man, <laughs> what are the odds you know two old people that look like the same? Pretty rare, huh? So you guys, after this live stream of Leah and this mysterious man, people called police to make sure she was okay. They did a welfare check, all this stuff. Leah seemed super angry. She was like, don't ever call the cops again. Literally, you guys, a couple days went by and Leah made another live where she seemed like she had gotten out of wherever she was. It seemed like she was in a safer place. She said she wasn't ready to talk about anything. But you guys, this week, Leah Marie Johnson came out and she posted this on her Instagram. It's a photo of her on her story and she said, finding my way out of a relationship was the best decision I've ever made. Can't wait to see where my life takes me now with open opportunities and my positivity leading the way. Now, this photo came to me on Friday evening. This is when I saw it. It had been up for an hour. And you guys, I honestly like was really happy for Leah. I was really, 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 really happy for Leah. Seeing that she was out of the abusive relationship, but then also feeling really sad because this is confirmation that the man that she was with was just not treating her right and that they were in a relationship together. And I know she's 23 and that's legal, but I'm saying the situation didn't seem right. It didn't seem like she was fully there when she was with him, especially in that live stream. So I'm happy that she got out of it. But also I do have like a little bit of caution when I'm saying this because who knows if she's posting this because she's really okay or because someone told her to make it seem like she was okay. That's a really big worry of mine. I've seen a lot of TLC specials, a lot of Nightline. I'm not messing around you guys. Like it looks like she's okay. I really genuinely hope she is okay. But if someone is making her post this stuff to make it seem like she is okay so that they are protected, that's not right. Also, I should mention that the record producer that she signed with, Steve, as soon as she was done with that live stream that night, he deleted all of his social media. His whole internet presence is wiped clean. If that's not suspicious, I don't know what is. That is like literally a confession of guilt in my opinion. But let me just say, it's not a fact. It's not a fact. It's not a fact. But what do you guys think? Because <laughs> doesn't look right to me. So you guys, like I said, when I saw this post of Leah, I was like, at first, wow, I'm so happy for her. She's doing better. She got out of that situation. But then I was like, hmm, I don't know. And last night, you guys, Leah Marie Johnson went live on her Instagram and she wasn't acting like 100% normal. She was getting into like this really deep talk 
about life and her future and her past and all this stuff. And she, she started talking about things that have happened to her. She said that something happened to her in her childhood and that her first ever memory was a really bad one. The first time she was made aware of her existence, it was not a good memory. She said she was a little, little, little girl when this happened to her. She said it was going to be her secret for the rest of her life. She wasn't going to share what exactly happened to her, but it really, really, really messed her up. And she said that she remembered this memory and then her mind just buried it. And I know from personal experience that when some sort of traumatic event happens to you, you forget all about it. I don't know if it's your mind protecting you or what. There was a long time where I was like, God, like, I don't remember how this even started. I remember that something happened, but I don't remember how it started. And it took like months and months and months for me to think about it. And then it finally hit me and I remembered it. And I was like, dang. And it was a really dark time. And I feel like that was what Leah was explaining here, that she had a really dark memory of something that happened to her in her childhood. And then it finally hit her. And that's when she got anxiety and depression. She said at the age of 19, she was made aware that she had anxiety and depression in a very serious way. And she had to go to a facility for this. Now, she did say that she does not have schizophrenia because Keemstar came out and said that she had a friend that claimed she had schizophrenia that she was diagnosed with. I said it in my last video that we don't always know if Dramaler is telling the truth or not. And clearly he wasn't because, you know, she's coming out and she's saying, if I had schizophrenia, I would know I have it and I have never been diagnosed with schizophrenia. So she wanted to make that very clear and that she is not on anything for that. Along with going live on Instagram last night, Leah posted to her story that she had watched the movie Kids, and then she posted this. I feel like I won't be able to sleep tonight, and I didn't sleep at all last night, so that means I probably won't sleep at all this week or month or year. Let's hope I never sleep and I fall into another dimension that no one else can access. And I'm just like enjoying the lonely realm I have tapped into and exploring the unknown aspects of existence and flying around at the speed of light and visiting every habitable planet in the universe because I want to. Leah was talking some deep stuff on this Instagram live and I don't know you guys if she's actually okay, but gosh, you guys, I really, really, really hope that she is still okay, that she is out of harm's way, that she is in a home. In my last video, I mentioned that Leah had friends on YouTube. Well, Tana Mojo, I don't think that she was ever really friends with Leah, but she obviously had heard about the things going on about her because a lot of people have been talking about her recently with all these live streams going on. So today, Tana actually tweeted saying, how do we help Leah Marie Johnson? And I mentioned that she used to be friends with Dom DeAngelis because he was friends with Keen and JC, still is friends with Keen and JC, and JC is obviously her ex, so they have to know each other. He replied to Tana and said, we've tried. I've tried. Her quote unquote friends aren't real friends anymore, and she hasn't replied to me countless times. I don't know who's close around her, but someone has to step up. It seems like people have tried to reach out and she hasn't responded. I don't know if that's because she personally doesn't want to respond or because someone isn't letting her respond. I don't know what the deal is, guys, but I still feel like we're not out of the clear with Leah. And just because she says like she is out of this situation, I don't think that means she's out of the clear completely and all is well and we don't need to be worried about her at all. I think she's slowly opening up about things that are going on in her mind and I feel like this is a cry for help and we need to listen and be very careful about what we're saying to her and make sure that she knows that the internet is here to protect her and that we still want her to be here and we want her to be okay. So guys, send your love to Leah. Let her know that we support her and that we just want her to be okay. I love you guys so much. Thank you for sticking through this video. I know it's a very long one, but I feel like this is a really, really, really important topic. And I don't want 
just because she posted that she is out of whatever situation she's in for us to just be like, okay, yeah, she's great. All right, on to the next story. No, you guys, situations like this take a really long time for people to heal from, and sometimes it's a lifelong battle, but she's only 23 and we can't give up on her. So I love you guys so much. Send your love to Leah. I will talk to you in the next video. Bye, guys. Oh, my God.